Yeah, that rain, it's coming down. The storms are lined up. We are definitely moving into some typical late fall weather here. Uh, that storm train headed straight for us, bringing the first wave of moisture here late last night and those showers sticking with us. Uh, they saw some pretty heavy rain north of Portland across western Washington as you head up into the uh, Olympic National Forest. Some locations seeing as much as two inches of rain, about half of an inch near Seattle. Uh, when you get down closer to Portland, uh, about half that. And uh, then when you head down to the southern Willamette Valley, uh, we have just now started to see those showers falling. Uh, they are going to stick with us, though. The one thing is it's not cold. It's actually pretty warm. Temperatures right now 57 degrees at the Eugene Airport, and uh, we're seeing mid-50s here all across the state until you get down into the southeast corner. Fog, definitely not a concern this morning. Uh, and the winds are moving out of the southeast at about 8 miles per hour. So here's a look at the early rainfall totals. Again, what we've seen just in the past couple of hours. Uh, the most is out near the central coast where they've already seen over a quarter of an inch in Newport. Corvallis, you now have about five hundredths of an inch there in the rainfall buckets. And Eugene only picking up uh, a trace as we've seen that light uh, showers off and on here this morning. I do expect these uh, to continue to fill up, though, today. So here's a look at the storm that's uh, we're starting to see the showers out ahead of this morning. The actual front will not move through until later tonight. So we'll see some heavier rain uh, coming up later this evening. But before then, those showers and the clouds will definitely stick with us. And what's always true for a cold front is that we see warm air ahead of that and cold air in behind. So uh, we are going to see a much colder air mass move in. And in this case, uh, it's a big difference as well cold air that's been bottled up in the Gulf of Alaska is finally pushing down uh, to the south and that's what's going to stick with us for a good week uh, as we head through the weekend and into next week. Also we're going to see this storm that's been picking up some moisture down uh, in the south tropics is going to combine with this so we will have some periods of heavier rain and then we'll see those cold temperatures on top of us and all of this means uh, possible snow when you get into the higher elevations. On precision cast you can see the timing of this again we saw heavier rain and Northwest Oregon uh, this morning. That's all moving its way down to the south. We'll see those showers even spreading to central Oregon. And then you see there it is the snow. The blue uh, is frozen precipitation by midnight tonight. Starts falling at about 4,500 feet. Freezing levels dropping to 4,000 during the day on Saturday. Uh, now on Saturday, the showers will be much more widespread and much lighter. But come Sunday, we'll see another round of heavier rain. So uh, we are going to continue to see soggy conditions all the way through next week. Uh, uh, the bottom line is that today is going to be uh, very wet, but it will be warmer. On Saturday, we'll see less rain move in, but much cooler temperatures. Possible thunder showers in the mix on Sunday. And then again, those snow levels dropping to about 4,000 feet by Saturday night not getting above 4,500 feet for the next week. So along the coast, highs will be right at about 60 today. Again, chances for rain every day this week. The Umpqua Basin, mid-60s. You drop to the 50s tomorrow uh, for the Cascades, upper 40s today. Again, dropping below freezing here overnight, changing over snow by Saturday morning. For Central Oregon, highs at about 67 today. Scattered showers uh, Saturday. Could see a few sprinkles, but better chances for rain on Sunday. And note this. Look at these overnight lows dropping below freezing. So we could see a little bit of snow uh, there early in the day. And then for the valley, highs will be back into the low 60s. Scattered showers today, isolated showers tomorrow, thunder showers Sunday, and next week it's going to be wet and cold.